Hey, Sarah. Hi, good. I, I saw the champagne now. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Excellent. So we're going to keep it on the, on, the, on the theme of good, simple dishes. Okay. And um, what we're going to do today is simple desserts. Desserts. Yeah. Oh, girls love desserts. So this is this is a, this first dessert that I'm going to do is something that a lot of a lot of Western cultures have in their in their cuisine, um, and it's it's a rice cream or rice pudding. Rice pudding. So they have them in England, in Portugal, in Germany, and in yeah, France. We, Everyone we has a version of this. Yeah, we we have a different versions. You know, there's some kind of like a white uh, kind of like a cake in Cantonese uh, restaurant. Also, we have like something like I I'm thinking of like a zongzi. You know, like think, sticky yeah. rice. Uh, sticky rice you, you see a lot in rice, Asia. Um, that's right. Mm. But this this one is using a short grain rice and it's not using the rice flour at all which is often used in, in Chinese desserts. This is alborio so I'm actually using risotto rice to do this but you can also use just any short grain rice. You can also use sticky rice but you know this is better. So I've got about 200, 200 grams of, uh, of rice to a liter of milk so it's about five to one. Five okay? to one the proportion. Proportion is roughly five to one. So I've got you know doing this uh, add the milk okay. okay. Mm. We're gonna put some lemon zest lemon in. Zest. You can add a lot of different flavors. Mm. I like okay. the fact like uh, you you know you don't waste the skin. Cinnamon stick? Cinnamon. Okay. Mm. I use again this, this great, these awesome cinnamon sticks. Oh, yeah, okay. yes. Mm. They're, they're like very big, nice. Big, big, big chunk. ones. We just break them in, break a piece, pop it in. Okay. Um, I've got a vanilla bean here which I've opened up. Okay. I've used the inside for something else. Oh. Okay. So, so we don't waste it. Mm. We'll use the pod for the flavor. Okay? okay. So then we pop that on the stove and we let it cook away until it turns into like this. Okay. So you cook that for about 20 minutes. You want you don't want you're not looking for this to be al dente. You want this to be soft. Soft. That's, mm -hmm. that's it's kind of like a dry porridge, like a well, not, not really, but <laughs> it's, <laughs> but it's 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 paste. More like a thick thick creamy risotto, mm -hmm. okay? That is that the rice is cooked through. Cuz uh, with this you want the texture of the rice to be, you know, nice and soft. Soft. Mm. We can cook that down even a bit more, actually, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So why don't you start, um, take me six eggs there, Sarah, and start six. separating them. Okay. Six. And what's good about this, if you feel it's too, it's too thick, you can just add some more milk and you can adjust. It's six egg. Yes. What kind of uh, dessert is this? It's like a, a Greek or something? Oh, well, it's very European. I think it'd be, but all the British, the British have their version, as I said, the, the, the Southern Europeans have their version. Yeah, the North Europeans have their version. I mean, everybody's been doing this for a long time. So here we go. Okay, so I, I, what I've done here is I've taken my six eggs, mm -hmm. egg yolks, and I'm folding in my egg yolks, folding them in. I'm also, it's nice and hot there now. Mm. I'm going to fold it, put in sugar, about 150 grams sugar. Okay, so I'm just yeah, going to... I'm not going to say it's a lot of sugar. Don't that. say that. It's just right amount. Okay, that's about 150 grams there. Okay. It's the right amount of sugar. I think, I feel it's about 150. We'll, we'll fold that in. Mm. We're also going to put some butter here. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, nice. Put about 100. 125 grams of butter, depending how buttery you want it. Okay, let's stir it around to get all that sugar Mixed together. dissolved in there. Okay, before I put it back on the heat. And we're gonna, then we're gonna cook it on the heat for a little while, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Not too long, we don't wanna cook. Remember, there's eggs in here now, okay? Yes, a egg yolk. Mm. So if we, if we put it, cook it too much, what's gonna happen? It becomes scrambled eggs. Oh, scrambled eggs. Now they'll cook. What'll happen, we want the eggs to thicken mm. the rice cream, mm. all right, and cook. Yeah but we don't want them to cook to become scrambled. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's why once we, do, once we go to this stage, we have to keep stirring. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. Can right. I do that? You can Are do you that, but if you, if you make the scrambled eggs, we're not gonna be happy. Okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna put a, a pinch of cinnamon there. Uh, cinnamon. Now look at that. See how the, see how the oh. egg is, you know why it's gone thick? Because oh. of the egg. Oh, Beautiful, right? Now you see that's, that's mm. now very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've decided to do something. I'm gonna pour some here, which we're just gonna put that straight into the fridge, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake one. So this one is going in the fridge. This one. Yep. So we're just gonna sprinkle. Mm, is there cinnamon? Some more cinnamon on top, and then we're gonna bake, uh, bake that one. Bake one and put one in the fridge. That's it. We're gonna come back to that and eat it at the end. Finished. Second dessert, really easy. I love this dessert. Peaches and cream. It's a classic. Okay. So 
We just take some some fresh peaches that are we getting from the market, okay? Oh, it looks so good. You know, this summer I haven't found like good peaches yet. Put these will live up to your uh, expectations. Apart from there, we oh, go. Here okay, we go. that's what we're looking to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got one more in there. Mm -hmm. So you really want to roll this? Just roll it around on your knife, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. So you separate all. Twist it. And then you just want to twist it without smashing it oh. too much, okay? I, I got some water on here, okay? And I'm gonna make a sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. So I'm just putting like a good amount of sugar to the water. Now don't worry, you're only gonna poach the fruit in that, so it's not like you're gonna drink that water oh, okay. or anything, okay? Yeah, that's just that's just really so we can give give some flavor and cook cook them up a little bit. I'm gonna throw a little bit of alcohol into this water as well for the poaching, and I'm also gonna throw a little bit of wine. Oh, white okay? wine. Just a little bit, just just to play around with the acidities. I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of lemon. Lemon zest into there. Okay. Squeeze the oils out. See that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. On the top, there, on the top of the skin, there's little oils. Oh! If you go like that, it'll hit you in the face. Oop! <laughs> hit you in the face. Sorry. That's okay. I believe it's good for the skin. What was supposed to leave my hands, but it did. Just want to make you to feel the fact that. Oh, put your hand yeah. out. There's little tiny oils. Mm. Can you feel them? And if you lick yes, your hand, yes. you'll see that that's, that's what we're trying to get out of oh, out of that. Okay. okay? So our, our, our sugar syrup is boiling up there. Mm. We just take our, po uh, our peaches, Peach. pop them in there. What I'm going to do as well, while that's getting ready, we're just going to toast off some almonds. Mm -hmm. A very simple way to do this, and you can just buy them already sliced. Like oh, this, okay. okay. Mm. Simple way to do it, just get a pan, heat your pan up. Mm. No oil, nothing else. Nothing, just like just this dry. Just like dry, dry roast them there. So just put some whipping cream in here, mm. okay? It's a really nice quality cream because yeah. it's got a lot of fat. Oh. You, you really need a lot of fat in your cream. Mm. Otherwise it won't whip up nicely. Vanilla essence. Can you start whipping that for me, yeah, Sarah? Yes, yes, Be careful yes. your clothes. So I've also got, I prepared here. Oh, okay. This is just a, a bit of sponge. So lovely, sponge cake. So you, you can do this without or with. Mm. And uh, I'm going to show you guys another time how to make a simple sponge like this. Okay. Mm. Okay, but a demo of how to do it. But you can also just, you just go to the supermarket and buy like a sponge cake or go to the, even the Chinese shops that have the big, big fat yeah, sponge sorry, pieces. Tall, yeah. What do you call that in Chinese? You know the, the cake? Uh, tangao, haimian tangao. Yeah, basically uh, that one. Mm, mm. You can use that one. It's perfectly good for this recipe. For this one? Yeah. Okay. okay, you're just gonna, we're just going to cut it up and soak it, okay? So I'm just going to cut my sponge into pieces. Should I still do this? Yeah, keep going. Oh, That's got to get nice uh, and thick. Uh, okay. Gonna, we're not, this is just to give a little, little bit of body, a little bit of texture to the, so the, to the dessert we're doing. Yeah. Check this out. Blow yes, on it. So? We'll try that now. You'll taste the peach. Mm. Crazy, right? Oh, very nice. All that peach yeah. flavor is already going in there. Wow. Mm. Right, so. Oh, dear. Right, when you're whipping, there's a little tip, simple tip for whipping, okay? Okay. You want to get air into the cream and you, you want to like, so if you do like this, uh -huh. it'll take you a long time uh, to get to where you want to go. Okay. But if you like, tip it on the side a little bit. Tip. Mm, tip it on the side. Just move your whisk right. like this. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Just move it. And then. If you do it this way, you'll actually get your cream thickening, thickening up fairly quickly. Well, everything has its reason, huh? I mean, if you have a food processor at home, a blender, not a blender, a mixer, that's cool. But by hand, it's also not that bad. You can do it quite quickly. By hand, is better because uh, I, I like, you know, when you are cooking, it's like ex physical exercise, you know, it's it good is. for the body. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go to the gym now. Yeah, this. exactly. After this, you don't need to go to the gym. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell myself that anyway. But I think I do need to go to the gym. Okay, see our cream's getting nice and thick now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thickening up the cream nicely. Amazing. It's just that the whipping can change the texture. So, we take out our peaches, they're still very hot, okay? Mm. So, but now, the skin should just come straight off. Okay, so let's put this thing together. There's some oh. simple peaches and cream. Excellent.
Well, Sarah, the last thing we're going to do here for our desserts today, and then we're going to bring everything together and, and eat them all at once. Sounds great. Um, is, is a crepe. It's a classic. Okay. Crepe. Oh, I like Absolute crepe. So, I just had crepe for, uh, over the weekend. Did you? Oh, yeah, you're going to have yeah, it again. I like it. I don't so, mind. This is a very. This is one of the first uh, desserts I ever made when I was an apprentice chef. Really? Yeah, this oh. is like classic stuff. So, flour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the show actually that brought you a lot of memory. It does, you know, we go back to, back to the roots. <laughs> back to the roots when you were young and the apprentice. <laughs> Yeah, actually, we have done a lot, a lot of dishes that I was doing you, in my first... In the school? In the, yeah. What do you call that? Uh, culinary school? Well, you go to... When, well, the way I did a classic apprenticeship, so you go to... You, you, you learn in a, in a restaurant with a real chef. Oh. And at the same time, you also you go, go to, to the school. school. Oh. You do that for four years. That's a good idea. And it's not fun. Oh. Sorry, yeah, one egg yolk and one whole one egg, egg, I should say. Oh, okay. Right. One egg, one egg, one egg. And what I'm doing is, you see, I'm making a well mm. on the side and I'm bringing in the egg and the flour. Right. So mm. I'm making a little paste, okay? Mm. And as I go along, I add a little bit more liquid. This is the milk? Yeah, okay. Mm. So adding a little more liquid here. Mm. So you see, but I'm, I'm controlling the way I bring the flour. And this yeah. is the secret oh. to how you make nice smooth crepes. Okay. You, so you're making effectively a, a nice smooth paste. You see that? It's nice oh, like and smooth. A gradually. Gradually. Mm. And then I add a little bit more liquid. Mm. I'm catching the edges of that flour. Right, right, right. Okay, and I'm bringing a little bit more in each time. Mm. Not okay. like a once. Yeah, not all, not, if you throw everything all in at once, mm. you get a lot of lumps. Okay. Uh, so it won't be balanced. Yeah. Mm. So, and then, mm. perfect. Okay. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do as well, I'm, I'm so done. So skillful. Now I can add all the milk. It doesn't matter because it's not going to go lumpy now. Mm. There's a lot of science to it. Mm. Yeah, science and technique. Yeah, when I'm eating crab, I wasn't thinking about it. It's so so much skill involved. Mm. Crab. Yeah, look up. That's perfectly smooth. Mm. Thin and a little bit of melted butter. Okay. Mm. Okay. And then that's our crepe mixture ready to go. Oh, look okay. perfect. Easy, right? Yeah. Let's get some chocolate. We're gonna make a ganache here. Oh, okay. Chocolate. I so like. I got this beautiful. I like. You know, dark Kovacher chocolate here. This is okay. a huge chunk. Nice. Piece. Look at that. How's that? Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, lovely. It's a kid's oh, dream, lovely. right? Lovely. Yeah. So, Lovely, lovely. I want to eat, have a piece now. You want a piece? Mm. No. Just small. And a small piece? Okay, go on. Small piece. Mm, thank you. Mm. So this is really great cooking chocolate. Oh, I'm going to chop that up. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's school holidays at the moment. I'm going to get Jojo Very to come on cute. and help us make the chocolate ganache oh, and try the dessert. Nice, you got a pretty piece today. Come on, Jojo. Don't be shy. Jojo. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Your turn to make one. Oh, you want me to make oh, one? Oh, you to okay, make one. Sure. Hold one pan, rim, okay. hold it. Lift your, tilt your pan a little bit. Okay. Start one corner. From That's going to be a lot. That's going to be too much. Too much? Okay. Sorry. Okay. So mm -hmm. tilt the pan, tilt the pan. Mm -hmm. Start up there. Now turn, now roll the pan, and roll the pan, roll the pan. Use the pan to make the circle. Oh, okay. All right, you so pour. See, what you did wrong, the only thing you did wrong is you, 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 you kept pouring. Oh, so, you so learn, I, But that's I, okay, it's okay. You learn to judge, leave, leave it on the hand. Okay. You learn to judge when there's enough liquid. As it's pouring, you're turning, and then you end up with a perfect crepe. Oh. And you, then you stop pouring the batter. Okay, Sarah, let's put this together. So let's bring all the desserts out. There's somebody else I want to thank on the show who's been behind the scenes for season one and season yeah. and so far what we've done in, on this season. That's Tabitha. Come on in, Tabitha. Bring the desserts. Hey. And come on Tabitha. in, Jojo. It's dessert time. We'll get all the girls in. Oh wow. So Tabitha's taking off to New York. Oh. To continue her career there. Thank so get you. On just I to wish thank you her. the best. 
with your new I'm job, your new adventure, your new journey. Here we go, squeezing his color. Thank you. Yeah, Tabitha worked very hard behind the scenes. She has worked. She always works very hard. She's here at least yeah. the two days before we're here. I know. This is the one we baked. Yes. Yeah, you know the one we I said we said we'd bake it. And that's the rice cream we baked. Two versions. Yeah. yeah. And you can see that one's become developed a little thicker and more like a custard. Mm, okay. Right, right. And that's the other one we did. So, you know, let's dig in. So, just to recap where we were. Recap. This is our crepes with chocolate, Perhaps. ice cream, and, uh, and strawberries, okay? With fresh whipped cream. Mm -hmm. This is our rice pudding. Rice pudding. Okay? Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the one that we cooked and st straight from the stove into the fridge and set it. This is the one we baked. Baked. Okay. In the fridge. This is our peaches and cream. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, here we go. So Beautiful. Grab some cutlery Beautiful. and dig in. Mm -hmm. 